Hello everyone, today I'm very much excited and I have a very wonderful topic about credit score and especially talking about credit score for people who are coming to the United States of America. Why am I going to talk with this topic? Simply because it is part of the financial life and most of the decisions in the United States will be lying around the credit score. And we as immigrants, we come from different countries and most of our countries ha don't have this type of system. So we need to know this system of credit score and how it is going to play a vital role into our future here in the United States of America. So first and foremost, what is this credit score? And what is the importance of this credit score? And how are you going to improve? Or simply, what are the main factors which are going to determine your credit score? And what percentage each factor is going to carry so that you can understand the game of the credit score for your future and the finance and the financial life in the United States of America? So, a simple definition of the credit score is simply a numerical representation of your credit worthiness and is going to play a very crucial role in, in to many financial, deci financial decisions, as just I pointed out. And some of these financial decisions, which are very, very crucial, are including how to get a loan, whether it be getting business loan, getting a personal loan, going to get a mortgage, which is a house loan, to get uh, auto loan, loans for the car, or to get a credit card, or to get a apartment for renting, to have a rental, good rental agreement, they're going to run a credit score. Or sometimes even to get a good job, you also need to have a very good credit. So, your life is revolving around the credit score. So, you need to understand what are the important things around in the credit score so that you can play this game and so that you can be able to achieve or attain uh, to attain the American dream if you are into American dream. So a, how does this credit score is going to be calculated? So the calculation of the credit score is based on several factors. Some of those factors are payment history, outstanding debt, length of the credit history, and sometimes the types of credit used. So let me give a little bit of the cross look of these factors and how each factor is going to contribute to the total credit score and its understanding and applicability. Number one, as I mentioned, is about the payment history. This is the most important factor in calculating the credit score. It has the highest percentage in determining if you are going to get uh, the certain higher number of the credit score. It is going to account about 35% of your credit score. So that means if you have a lot of missed payments or if you have late payments, all those are going to hurt your score. And because this payment history has a larger percentage, it is going to affect you very, very bad. So the opposite of this one, in order to improve your score is to make sure that you have payments on time. That is the most important thing. And number two factor, which is going to also account a larger percent, is the outstanding debt. How much percent? We have seen payment history has about 35%. Out outstanding debt is going to account for 30% of your score. And it's going to reflect the amount of debt you have relative to the credit limits. And whatever you have, the higher levels of debt, meaning your credit score is going to be lowered, is going to be negatively affected. And while you keep the debt level low, it's going to improve. Sometimes this is going to be confusing. Let me break down in this way. If you have been given the credit card, just for an example, you will be given a credit card with a credit limit, let's say $500 or $1,000. So if it has $500 and you decide to spend $400, 
meaning your debt to is gone almost to the ceiling. That means kind of like even if you are not going to above, you, are, you have to reach the maximum debt. It looks like your spending is a little bit crazy. So it's going to hurt your point. So what does that mean? Play a game. Improve your credit score. If you have 500, don't spend over 10%, 20% of your, the total limit you have been given by the bank. So if they give you 500, don't spend even more than 150. I'll tell you just use a hundred dollar pay off use not more than 200 pay off don't go even the 50 percent mark of the total number of the credit limit you have been given so outstanding debt is also contributing 30 percent of that then it comes to act number three the length of credit history this one is going to have 15 percent so the 35 percent is payment history 30% is outstanding debt. The length of the credit history is 15% of your score. What does that mean? It is based on the age of your score. So the older, the older account you have is going to build you a long-term trustworthiness of your credit. Meaning, let's say you have a credit score, you have a credit card, you have maybe in the last six months. Yes, you are paying on time, but that will give you smaller points than the person who has been paying on time for last four years. You have built the trust for over a long time, meaning it's going to help you to have a very good score. It shows that you have stability and it is easier for you to boost your score. And another thing I told you is about the types of credit card used or the credit used. So this is going to have a little bit smaller percentage. It's just about 10% of the total score. And what does this is going to refer? This is going to have the varieties of credit accounts, meaning there is mortgage, for instance, there is car loan, there is credit, credit, card, uh, credit cards. So when you have a mixture of different types of credits, it's going to help you to increase your credit score. But all if your score is just based on the credit card, is Yes, but that is not good enough. It, you need to prove that my worthiness is not just on having a credit, credit card of just $500 limit. Oh, even if I have the uh, mortgage or I pay the rent, I pay on time. If I have the uh, auto loan, I have a car to pay, I pay it on time. So once you have a mixture, types, different types of credits accounts, that is also going to improve to you. So that is going to give you almost 10 percent so those are the factors or the important things you need to pay attention to look at each closer so that it can help you to improve you cannot improve the credit score if you don't understand what are the factors and each factor what is going to contribute towards that type of score having understanding having going through these type of factors you need to do about improving your credit score and there are a few techniques you can be able to use. For instance, number one, obvious to make your payments on time. As I've been saying, late payments, missed payments is going to negatively impact on your credit score. But if you pay on time, pay all the bills on time because they're going to report to you on the credit score company is going to help you in a positive way. Again, make sure that you keep your credit card balances low. High credit card balances can lower your score. Meaning, as I've been saying, like don't spend too much above the at least 50% of the credit limit you have been given. So that is another thing. Uh, obvious, again, you need to mix up your credits. You need to mix up like different accounts you have, all those kind of things. Uh, someone mentioned like another technique would be if your minimum payment is $25 per month, pay $26, pay $30. If you pay above the minimum payment, it's going to trigger that you are going to be above and beyond of trustworthiness is going to help you in one way or another. So those are some of the things to understand, the factors, but also the ways to pay uh, the credit on time and improve your credit score. Because without that one, you are going to mess up. Because you can be there and say, oh, I'm used to use cash from the country I've, I've been um, from Nigeria. I'm from Ghana. I'm from Tanzania. I'm from Kenya. You are in the U.S., 
You have to play the game like people in the United States. Otherwise, you'll use your cash, use your debit card. Two years, four years later, you want to buy a house. It doesn't matter how much money you have or the job was you have. If you don't have the credit score, good credit score, you will not be having the trustworthiness. You will not be given the mortgage or to get a brand new auto loan. So those are important things for you to be able to understand. So from day one, start improving your credit score. Make sure that you understand these factors and be ready to utilize all the opportunities when you want to go to business, when you want to get a good job, when you want to invest into real estate, you want to have your home, later to move into Airbnb, all those kind of factors, you need to know them as soon as possible. As soon as you land into the United States, these are the things you need to pay attention to.